everyone. My name is Nick White and I'm the owner of Off Leash Canine Training. This is part two of our five part series of our video blog on confidence building with your dog. If you didn't check it out, part one was noise desensitization and the importance that noise desensitization plays in confidence building with your dog. Today we're going to discuss socialization. What is socialization? Socialization is one of the most fundamentally important concepts that you should do with your dog at a very young age. Socialization is what teaches the dog proper interaction among other dogs, other people, and even other animals. The most important time frame to socialize your dog is between 3 to 12 weeks of age. Generally, the average person does not get the dog until they're 8 weeks of age. From 8 to 12 weeks, it's very, very important that you're socializing your dog as much as humanly possible on an ongoing basis. A lot of people tell you, you don't want to socialize your dog until he's had all of his shots. To me, that's ridiculous. As soon as you get a dog at 8 weeks old, socialization should begin right then and there. Just be smart about it. I wouldn't take him to a dog park or any place like that, although I'm against dog parks anyway, as you all know. However, I would take him to places like someone else's house where it's just one other dog. Um, socialize him one-on-one, one-on-two, -on -one, one -on small groups, not very large groups of dogs. I wouldn't take him to a dog daycare or anything yet, um, pre-vaccination. However, you can still do a lot to socialize your dog with friends, family, neighbors, one-on-one -on -one with friendly, confident dogs. That's really important as well. You want to ensure that your dog is socializing uh, with other dogs who are really good dogs, who's going to give your dog a positive experience. That's really, really important. Much like toddlers and babies, they're very impressionable at a young age. So you want to ensure they have all positive experiences in that 8 to 12 week phase um, of socialization with people and with dogs. That's really, really important. Um, so I wouldn't let them socialize with any dogs that I didn't know were pretty good dogs, such as friends, family, things like that. Um, again, one of the biggest things that we hear a lot at our training facility is, well, my vet told me not to socialize him with the dogs until he had all of his shots. Um, again, from a dog training standpoint, I think that's absurd. I think it's ridiculous, and I think it's wrong, to be honest. Um, you want to socialize, uh, socialize them as much as humanly possible between 8 to 12 weeks. Again, just be very aware of where you're taking him to socialize um, if he hasn't had all of his vaccinations. For example, where are you taking your dog to get their vaccinations? To the vet, right? What are you doing before you go inside the vet clinic? You're letting the dog sniff around, use the restroom outside, in the parking lot, the grass area outside of the vet, which is one of the worst areas because there's hundreds of dogs going to the vet, which are what? Going to the restroom in that same spot. So the vet who's telling you don't socialize him um, because he hasn't had all of his vaccinations, you're going to that vet clinic where hundreds and thousands of dogs a week and a month are using the restroom and you're taking your eight week old puppy there. Um, so again, it's just kind of an absurd concept to me. Um, so again, from my perspective, socialize your dog as much as humanly possible from eight to 12 weeks. That's really the key window that you really wanna target for is eight to 12 weeks. I think after 12 weeks, it starts to get a little bit harder. Um, after 18 weeks, it really, really starts to get harder. So 8 to 12 weeks is your target window for socialization and interaction with people, dogs, and other animals. Cats, uh, birds, if you have birds, pretty much as, as much um, wide spectrum of people, things, and dogs, and noises, and all that that you can possibly do that we're going to discuss in different video blogs. But for now, we're going to focus on socialization with dogs and people. At my training facility in Woodbridge, Virginia, we deal with about 80 dogs a week. Out of those 80 dogs, we get a lot of aggressive dogs. A lot, meaning, you know, five to seven a week. Um, and I would say 90% of those dog aggressive or people aggressive dogs stem from lack of socialization at a young age. I'm going to say that again. Based off my experience at our training facility, I would say 90% of people aggressive or dog aggressive dogs we get stem from lack of socialization at a young age. In my opinion, it's pretty ridiculous for you not to have done socialization with your dog. There's really no excuse for it. I can understand not doing noise desensitization, object desensitization, and some of the other things that we have talked about and will talk about, talk about in the further video blogs. 
However, there's no excuse not to do socialization. Everyone knows that it's something you should do. Not everyone knows about noise desensitization. Not everyone knows about object desensitization. But everyone knows about uh, socialization with people and dogs, yet we still have people come to our facility every week who did not do it. Um, it's one of the things that really is frustrating to me because A, it's something that's completely free to do. One of the best things you can do to build your dog's confidence and give you a stable and confident dog is completely free. It doesn't cost any money whatsoever. You can go to your neighbors, your friends, your family. You can take them to PetSmart on the weekends where there's other dogs letting them interact one-on-one -on -one with other dogs on the leash. People who see your cute little puppy at PetSmart's coming up, petting them, giving them treats. So it's something that's completely free to do, something that really doesn't take any time. You're walking your dog anyway. You got to go to the pet store anyway. So take your dog with you. Um, by the time your dog's 12 weeks old, you should make it your goal that your dog's met a minimum of 50, 60 people, 50, 60 dogs. So again, really to me, there's no excuse not to socialize your dog. If you live on a farm in the middle of the country, you're going to the store eventually you have a neighbor somewhere, you're going into town eventually. Take your pup with you. Um, so again, there's no excuse not to, and it's one of the worst mistakes that you can make when people do not socialize their dog. Again, I'm gonna say it again, just to make sure you understand the importance. 90% of the dogs that we see at our facility who have people or dog aggression issues is based off lack of socialization at a young age. That's how important it is. Something people do not know when it comes to socialization is you should really, really try to diversify the type of socialization you do with different types of people and different breeds of dogs. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but we hear all the time, my dog's great with big dogs, but he'll try to attack small dogs. How many of you have a dog like that or you know someone who has a dog like that? Or he's great with small dogs, but if it's a bigger dog, he'll try to attack him. Why is that? We socialized him as much as we could growing up. You know, we always had him with friends' dogs. So what's the question I always ask? You're probably thinking it right now. Did your friend have any smaller dogs? Well, no, all of our neighbors had big dogs. You know, we'd take him to the dog park and they have a big dog area and a small dog area. So he'd always go in the big dog area. So again, the dog was only socialized with big dogs. So now he's aggressive towards small dogs because in that 8 to 12 week window, he didn't have any interaction or socialization with small dogs. So that shows you how a little bit of change in your dog uh, can make a big difference over the whole life of your dog. So try to diversify the types of dogs that your, your dog is socializing in. Small dogs, medium dogs, big dogs. Um, again, just try to make sure it's all good positive interaction that's really key so your dog only has memories of positive interaction with dogs um, from that 8 to 12 week window the same goes with people um, we hear a lot that's you know we always laugh about is people say you know I, I really don't know how to say this but you know my dog doesn't seem to really like white people or he really doesn't seem to like African Americans or um, and you know they feel almost ashamed to tell us that and I actually laugh and tell them what's well, very common. Um, and again, say your dog doesn't like white people. I always say, well, when you were socializing them, you know, did you have a lot of white friends? Or and they say, well, you know, where I live, there wasn't that really that many. Da da da. So again, it was socialized with a lot of people of different ethnicities, but it wasn't socialized with this specific ethnicity. So now they show a little bit of aggression towards that specific type of person. So again, you really want to diversify the type of people and the type of dogs that your dog's interacting with. A lot of people know to socialize their dog, but they're completely dumbfounded of why he's aggressive with small dogs when we socialized him really well, but they really didn't socialize him with small dogs. Or their dog is racist, as we hear, because they didn't socialize them with that specific race of people. So it's something that's really, really important and sure you're really trying to do that um, so you cover all of your bases, essentially. What can you do if you notice that your dog seems a little bit skittish or a little bit shy with people? You can do a drill that we call positive association with people. What positive association with people is, is it's very, very simple. It's the concept of teaching your dog to associate people with something positive. So what we do at our training facility and what you can do at home when you're taking your puppy or even older dog out is have 
new people hand your dog what we call a high valued reward uh, meaning not like a cheap dog biscuit or something like that something that's a reward that your dog highly values like hot dogs or turkey or something like that that you know really your dog really really loves what we do is we have new people aka strangers come up we hand them a piece of that high value reward and they just simply hand it to the dog and walk away and then we slowly phase in handing it to the dog and then petting the dog and what that does it teaches your dog who is maybe a little scared or a little skittish with people it reconditions their brain to teach them to associate people with something positive the analogy i like to use at, at our facility with our clients and I always get a good chuckle as i say imagine if you aren't a big people person and all of a sudden one day you go outside and everyone you meet on the street at your work and the mall everyone every stranger just walks up says hi hands you a hundred dollar bill and walks away how long do you think it would take before you started to look forward to seeing strangers probably pretty immediately right that's kind of what your dog does as well as they associate people with something positive um, hence positive association with people which is what we call the that drill so that's something that you can start doing now, whether you have an eight week old or a two year old um, to help getting help get them socialized and help them to start associate meeting new people with something positive and fun. Um, and there's something in it for them, essentially. As we've already discussed, you want to socialize them with as many different types of people and races of people. But you also want to get them used to seeing as many different clothings and such things such as that with people as well. I'm sure you've heard or maybe you've had a dog that didn't like people when they wore a hat or they didn't like people who wore glasses or my neighbor walks with a cane and he barked aggressively at him. Why? By now you've probably guessed why. Because he wasn't socialized with people in hats or people in glasses or people with canes in that really important 8 to 12 week period of his life. So in that 8 to 12 week period, again, a different diversity of dogs, a different diversity of people, and even different clothing that people may wear. Um, the way I like to tell people is if someone were to videotape me with an 8 to 12 week old puppy, they would probably think I was crazy because there would be banging on stuff, objects flying over his head, setting him up on crazy things wearing all kinds of crazy stuff around him. There would, it would be a madhouse around this puppy. But by the time he's 12 weeks old, he would be an amazingly confident dog and he really wouldn't be afraid of very much. So that's kind of what you want to do. It's never too late to do that. It just becomes harder to do that. Um, so if you can do it in that eight to 12 week window, you definitely should be doing it. And if you didn't do it in that eight to 12 week window, start today. Um, it's never too late, it just becomes a little bit harder, it may take a little bit more time and patience, but it's never too late. Um, so definitely don't get frustrated if this is the first time that you've heard of things like this and your dog's had some of these issues. Um, start doing these things today and you know your dog should quickly adapt to them as long as you're consistent and you have patience with it. If you watch some of our 500 plus videos on YouTube, you will undoubtedly see a lot of dogs who had confidence issues. If you go to our YouTube channel, click playlists, and we have our videos broken down by category, and we have a category called confidence building, and you can see some dogs who were not well socialized um, when they came to us with training. They're very skittish with people. We reach out to pet them, they back away, they bark. Um, and then you can see them after, in their after video, once we did a lot of confidence building, positive association with people, noise desensitization, object desensitization, and the, the f five core concepts that we talk about um, in confidence building throughout this video blog. So definitely check those out so you can see the power um, that confidence building in your dog can have, and it makes your life much better, and it makes their life much better. Again, I'm gonna say it once more, there's no excuse not to socialize your dog. None. I don't care if you live in the middle of a hundred acres and you don't have a house for 10 miles. If you're going somewhere, you can socialize your dog. It's free to do it. It's great for your dog's confidence. If you don't do it, you can have a lot of problems for the next 15, 16 years. Um, aggression, fear, anxiety, all of those things. And it's something that's really, really, really important to do. I would say socialization is probably at the very top of my list for important things that dogs need. Um, so start socializing them. It's not too late. If you have not done it, start today. If you're getting a puppy, 8 to 12 weeks, 
meet as many dogs, as many people, as many types of dogs, as many types of people, as many people wearing as many things as you can find, um, and follow along for the rest of our video blog for the rest of the Confidence Building series. We've already done, again, noise desensitization, so check that out if you haven't already. And we're looking forward to part three of our video blog series, which is going to be object desensitization. Thanks for watching.